let's create a new file let's save the file now go to file and save let us name the file swap depths click save to save the file let us change the stage color to black and now we just need to draw a circle let us draw a circle and uh, select the circle and convert into a symbol symbol type must be movie clip and let us change the symbol name as circle mc click ok double click on the symbol and just we want to take that one dynamic text field to display the label of the symbol so make sure that font name and font size and we just need to align it to center and then let us apply the instance name to the dynamic text field let's change the color of the text box and we need to embed the font let us choose all the four options and click ok now let's apply the stroke let's choose the red color stroke red color stroke color and just apply the same to the circle let us adjust the stroke weight let us go back to the stage let's select the symbol let's go back to the library select the symbol and click on properties choose an option export for action script click on the class you could see that action script file here which is object class let's save this now we just need to define one public function just to change the labels of the symbols symbols which are on the stage let us define the public function and my function name is change label and let us define the text object name dot text equal to my label we will execute this function from the base class let us save the file go back to the stage and we just need to go to the properties panel and deselect the symbol to select the class base class for the flash file and type the class name click ok now let us save this action script file now we just need to apply instance name to the object let us go back to the base class we just need to define the function name to change the label of the symbol let us specify the instance name of the symbol and we just need to specify the function name and inside the function name we need to put the label name 1mc that change label of 1mc save and test it we could see the title and the symbol let us go back to the uh, main stage and we just need to duplicate the symbols to get that more symbols on my stage and let us change the instance name of that each object to, to communicate with that each symbol then it is possible for us to change the label of that each symbol let us save the file let us go back to the base class again and select the statement and let us copy for two more times let us change the instance names of the objects 1mc to 2mc and 1mc to 3mc now we need to change the labels also let us make it as in 2mc 3mc we just need to save the file again to test it let us go back to the control pan control menu and test it we could see that all the three labels there and let us overlap one up one up on the other 
we are placed the symbols on the stage one top of another and test it. Now we could see that all the uh, symbols one top of the other. Now let us go back to the object class. I just want to add two mouse events. So before that we are supposed to assign the mouse event class on the top. Import flash dot events that mouse event. Now let us go to the default function and we need to add the event listeners to define that mouse events. Add event listener now. Mouse event dot down. Let us define the function name to this event as on down. We just need to assign another event listener for next event which is mouse up and the function name of that mouse up is on up because I just want to apply that start drag and stop drag to the symbol that is where we are defining both the events here mouse up mouse down and we are going to assign the statement which will help us to swap the depths also let's go out of the public function to define these two private functions let us start with the turn down function private function let us define the function name as turn down and the event is mouse event let us apply the statement which will help us to swap the depths parent dot set child index and let's define the object as this comma we just need to read the number of ch child objects from the stage parent dot num children minus one this is the statement that which will help us to swap the depths the moment when you click on the symbol and along with the statement let us apply that start drag also and we need to define another private function for stop drag Let's say that private function on up and then we need to apply that method which is stop drag so that we can even move the object on the stage wherever we require. Let us save the file, go back to the control menu and click test to test it. Now we can see all three one top of another and then I can click on the object to get top depth. I can drag the symbols and I can see whichever I click and that is coming at the top of the all other objects. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.